Welcome to Math with Mr. J. So in this video, we are going to be covering the distributive property of multiplication. Now there are four problems on your screen, so we're going to apply that property to these four problems. The distributive property is going to help you with your mental math skills, your general multiplication skills, and it's also going to aid in your overall number sense. Now at the top of your screen in blue, we have the distributive property, AKA break it up to use facts you know. So use that hint as we go through these four problems. So with that being said, let's jump right in to number one. So for number one, we have 16 times three. The distributive property says we can take this 16 and break it into 10 plus 6. Now I got that 10 from the value of the 1 and the 6 from the value of the 6. And we can multiply that broken down 16 by 3. So we would first do 10 times 3 is 30 plus that 6 times 3 is 18. And 30 plus 18 gives us 48. Now, once you get really good at these, that would be a problem you can use the distributive property to solve mentally. So let's take a look at number 2. Let's break apart our 47. So we have 40 the value of the 4, plus 7. And we multiply that by 5. So now we can use facts. We know, right? 5 times 4 is 20, plus put that 0 from the 40 back on the end. So we have 200. 5 times 40 is 200, plus the 7 times 5, which is 35. And now we have a nice mental math addition problem. 200 plus 35, 235. So again, we broke apart the 47, we broke it down to 40 and the 7, and then we multiplied the 5 by the 40 and the 7 because those were easier facts for us to solve than a 47 times 5. So let's go to number 3. Let's break apart the 38. So we have a 30 and we have an 8. And we need to multiply both of those by the 6. So 30 times 6 gives us, well, 3 times 6 is 18. Put the 0 back on the end so the 1 and the 8 go to the correct place values. So we have 6 times 30 is 180 plus the 8 times 6 which is 48. And we can do 180 plus 48 gives us 228. So number four, we have 500 plus the one has a value of 10 plus two times that four. So 500 times four is going to give us five times four is 20. And then put these two zeros back on the end. Plus four times 10, which is 40, plus four times two, which is eight. So now we add those together and we get 2,048. So that's the distributive property. We are breaking apart numbers and using facts or smaller problems that we know in order to come up with the product for the overall problem. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.